Hello friends, welcome to HTML tutorial series. I double click on the first page dot HTML. I right click on the first page dot HTML open with the notepad. In the previous tutorial, we understood horizontal line or HR tag. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss how do we add an image to a web page. File, save, go to browser, refresh. There is a tag called as IMG which is used to add images to web page. Let's begin. IMG tag is an unpaid tag and it is an inline tag. It is not a block level tag. That also we should remember. As it is an unpaid tag, we are going to write less than IMG, that is a tag name, forward slash greater than symbol. That's it. File, save, go to browser, refresh, nothing. Let's proceed further. First thing I have to tell to the system which image it should display. We are going to use an attribute called as SRC. SRC stands for source. I give a equal to sign, then double quotations. Here I should give the image name to be displayed or full path of the image and image name. Let's begin. First, here I have an image called as picture. Let me change this to small letter P. Picture.jpg. So I am going to write here P I C T U R E picture.jpg file save go to browser refresh you can see that image got displayed in the browser window if I want to add one more image all I need is I am going to copy this and paste it file save go to browser and refresh you need to observe here that this next image that we have here is not going to be moved to the next line. It will be displayed on the same line because IMG tag is an inline tag. It won't move the content to the next line. It won't take the entire width of the parent. If I refresh, you can see that that image also got displayed in front of the previous image. If you want to move the image to the next line, we can use the BR tag file, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that it has got displayed in the next line. If I do not use the BR tag, both will be displayed on the same line because IMG is an inline tag. Now we can mention the width and height for the images. If I want to increase the width of this image and height of this image, I can increase by giving the width attribute. Maybe width I am going to give 400 and the height, H-I-G-S-T height, I am going to give 433. File, save, go to browser, refresh. You can see that this image increased its size. As this image can't be fit in this area, browser has moved that image to the next line. If I increase the browser size, you can see that the image is on the same line. So this is how you can increase the width and height of the image according to your requirement. Also, we have few more attributes that we can use with the IMG tag. IMG tag has an attribute called as title. Double quotation. Here I am going to give M-A-N-J-U-N-A-T-H Manjunath Chidre. I have given the image name here. If I say file, save, go to browser, refresh. Observe what happens when I move the mouse cursor over an image. If I move the mouse cursor on this image, nothing is happening. If I move the mouse cursor on this image, you can observe that it is displaying a small tool tip like that. Manjunath Chidre is getting displayed. So you can use the title uh, attribute. You can add the title attribute to IMG tag and give what you want to display when a person moves the mouse cursor over that image. Understanding? If I have to display for this also, I am going to use the title tag for that. The next we have uh, one more attribute I am going to dis discuss is uh, I am going to copy this and paste it down. We know that this image won't get fit after this. So the image will be displayed down here. File, save, go to browser, refresh. The image got displayed here. There is a one more option we have or one more uh, attribute we have that is called as alt a l t alt alt stands for alternative text so here i am going to mention m a n j u n a t h manjunath chidre now there is a difference between title and alt 
okay i discuss about it soon file save go to browser refresh no problem if i move the mouse cursor it is showing manjunath chidre that is the title if i change this to just manjunath file save go to browser refresh you will see here only manjunath you can see that because it is displaying the title alternative text is used when the image is not available in that place if the image is not available let's let me show file save minimize and i'm going to delete this image or i put it somewhere else okay maybe i put in some other folder right click create a new folder with the name underscore images and i put that picture in this images folder as we know that the image is not in the same place of the web page uh, a web page is somewhere else and the image is somewhere else so now what happens we are using in all these tags we are using uh, picture.jpg as the source file let's see what happens file save go to browser refresh check this out images are not displayed you can see that for these two images there is just an icon that there is no image whereas with this the third one for that this alternative text is displayed in that place manjunath chidre is displayed so if image is not available at that time if you want to display some text in that place the name of the image then you can display by using the alt attribute very very useful now if you want to display the image back as image is in some other folder let's take the image in some other folder and you want to use that image what you need to do means you need to mention the path of that image i am going to use the relative path here i am going to discuss about uh, the path uh, urls in little bit uh, future classes uh, here i am just going to show you how you can display an image which is in some other folder on a web page all you need is you need to mention the folder name so i am going to copy this i put in front of this control v images forward slash pictures dot jpg control v forward slash control v forward slash file save go to browser refresh you can see that all images got displayed hope you guys are understanding how the image tag works how their attributes are going to work for this tutorial i think this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get more information on html for more benefits please subscribe like comment and share see you in the next tutorial